Welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at ways to fix your mouse if it's not working on your computer. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee that any of the solutions will fix your mouse, but I'll try to give you as many possible fixes as I can. The first thing I recommend to try is to change the port you are using to connect the mouse. If it's a USB mouse, and nearly all will be, whether it's wireless or not, there should be a few ports for you to try. Try all the ports, including those on the back of the PC, to see if any of them work. The problem could be a broken port or a compatibility issue, for example with USB 2 and 3. If it's a wireless mouse you're using, ensure that you are close enough to the receiver for it to work properly. You could try restarting your computer, especially if the issue has just occurred. Feel free to do this now to check, and then return to the video if it doesn't work. You could also try the other solutions first, and then restart at the end too. The next thing to try is to see if your computer is recognising your device. Go to the Device Manager by searching for it in the search bar. You can press the Windows key to bring this up, and then the Enter key to get to it. Have a look on this list under Mice and Other Pointing Devices, and if you don't see your mouse after trying a few ports on your PC, then chances are the mouse hardware or wires are faulty. Check your warranty to see if you can get a replacement or repair. If your mouse does appear on the list, or you see something that could be your mouse, then we can continue with the video and other solutions. It's worth continuing anyway, even if your mouse didn't show up, just in case. We're now going to see if updating the device drivers helps the problem. Windows can search automatically for them if you right click on your device from the device manager. If you're unable to right click, use the keyboard shortcut of Shift and F10. You can then use the arrow keys to then go to update driver. Then search automatically for updated driver software. You can also find and install the latest drivers yourself if Windows wasn't able to find them. You'll need to search online for your specific make and model of mouse to get these drivers. Just ensure you are downloading them from the manufacturer's genuine website. Usually, you'll be able to find a link to the manufacturer's website on the paper that came with your mouse, whether it's the handbook or other. I'll link a video in the description that shows you how to keep on top of all your driver updates so you won't have to worry about this on any devices in the future. If your mouse is lagging or beeping, I have a whole separate video for fixing that issue. Click the card in the top right to view that video. Mouse problems could also be caused by conflicting software or hardware. If you use any other USB devices, try the mouse without them plugged in to see if this helps. If you've recently added any new software or hardware that could have introduced the problem, try removing them. More specifically, it has been reported that Realtek HD Audio Manager can cause issues with mice, so you can try disabling that in the Task Manager's Startup section, and then restarting your computer. Use Control, Alt and Delete to get to the Task Manager, then use the Tab key to get to Startup, and then tab again back to the process. Then finally, tab again to get to Disable, then hit Enter. Also, try updating your graphics card drivers, as certain NVIDIA drivers have been known to cause compatibility issues too. It's also a good habit to keep them updated anyway. To confirm that software isn't the issue, you could try starting your computer in safe mode. If your mouse suddenly works in safe mode, then software is likely to be the cause. Try and remember the software changes you made at the time your mouse stopped working, or if it never worked, try removing software you don't need, and then research the software you have, as chances are it wouldn't just affect you. Software updates could also cause compatibility issues, and not just new software. Finally, try searching your specific make and model of mouse to see if others have had issues in the past. If you wish to change the sensitivity of the mouse, I also have a video for doing specifically that. Again, click in the top right to view. Hopefully one of these solutions worked, and if it didn't, it's likely that there is an issue with the mouse itself. If you have any other suggestions, or if you have found your own fix, it would be great if you could leave a comment to help others. Thanks so much for watching, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video.